All right, guys, good morning. Happy Monday. I am back in PA in my basement. Love it. You gotta love it. Well, happy Monday, guys. It's it's real. We're it's cold here. It's <laughs> dark. Let me get this online. Um Yeah, here we are. <laughs> I feel like it's been a long time since I've been down here, but it's fine. So far, day one. Hi mom, good morning. Day one yesterday was okay. The sun was out, it was only like 44 degrees, so it wasn't terrible. Although I'm not used to the sun setting at 5 p.m. Don't like that. It's very dark here. I don't know how you guys do it, but here we are. Get my music on here. We're gonna just do a little, um, hi mom. I know, I'm sorry we, uh, you're alone today. I'm alone today too, but it's fine. But again, we're just gonna start this week off with just a little mobility, just a little core, just to kind of reset, kind of focus in. Kind of just get our bodies just kind of prepared for the week, whatever we got going on. Um, I know I have a job interview today, so that'll be fun. <laughs> um, but again, just to kind of serve, just to kind of see what's going on, kind of stretch out before we start the week. If you do want to do like another workout, cardio, strength, anything else that we've done before, you can go feel free to check on my YouTube page. All my videos are up there. You can go back onto like the Facebook page and find a workout to do. This is only going to be like 20, 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, so grab a mat, you can take off your shoes, if you're on, say hi, um, and yeah, I was gonna wing it, you know, wing this whole workout like I usually do for the mobility part, and then this morning I was just like inspired, I just like cranked out a whole thing, so I'm feeling good, coffee's in me, it's good, what time is it, we got another minute or so, and then we'll get started, alright, so nothing, just you today, and uh, We'll get going, get some energy. I think we can see the screen. I tried to clean up a little bit down here. Just kidding, it was pretty much clean. But uh, the house did not burn down when we were gone, Mom, so it's fine. Everything's fine. All good. So nothing too, uh, nothing too exciting going on here, so we'll see. All right, so let's begin here, okay? We're gonna start on the ground. We're gonna do most of the stuff like, on the ground today. So what I want you to do is start by going um, on your hands and your knees, a little tabletop position. Okay, we're gonna do some cat cows. So we're just gonna start by just warming up that lower back, warming up that core. We're gonna tie in some core work in with our like stretching today. Okay, so that's how it's gonna work. So you're gonna start here, hands flat on the mat. You can untuck those toes, flat back here. Keep those hips right over the knees, back straight. And we're gonna do some cat cows, all right? So you're going to inhale, kind of curve your back here, arch your spine, and then as you exhale, you're pushing your belly button towards your spine, and then we're gonna repeat. So kind of flow in with your breath. We've done these before. Close your eyes. Kind of just find some you time here. Don't worry about what else, whatever else is going on around you. Good. So you're breathing in as you arch your back and as you round, and exhaling. And at your own pace, just kind of warming up here, getting some of that mobility in that back, stretching out, bracing that core, right? We're getting that core warmed up, slowly bringing some heat to our bodies. Good, very nice. Let's do three more. So wherever you're at, three more reps. Again, take your time. Breathe in, flow with the breath. Good, and after your third one here, kind of come back to a nice flat back position. We're gonna work our hips now, okay? So if you need to take a little break, you know, roll up those wrists a little bit, go for it. We're gonna be here for a little bit, so. Take one leg, we're gonna make some circles. I want you to extend that leg behind you and bring back in, all right? So I am going, what am I going? Clockwise with my circles for my hips, all right? So we're just kind of opening up those hips a little bit, nice and controlled. You don't have to go super fast. Out around. Good, just kind of waking up those muscles a little bit. Good, keep it, trying to keep your body pretty straight, not kind of favoring one side, try to keep right nice and centered from that. Let's do two more circles. 
on your last circle, you're gonna keep your leg back there. And I just want you to kind of sink into that stretch. You're gonna feel a stretch along the back of your leg, mostly down here in your calf muscle, all right? So push kind of into your heel a little bit. Take the pressure off your wrists. Good, we're gonna come back, okay? Back to center. You're just gonna the opposite way this time, okay? So extend out behind you, around, and down. All right, again, just a few circles here. Keep bracing that core. Make nice, big circles. Get that full range of motion. Very nice. Let's do about two more, and feel free to keep doing some if you want to. Okay, and then you're gonna extend out again. Kind of sink back a little bit. And feel that stretch in the calf muscle. Awesome, nice job. Let's sink back right here. All right, roll those wrists out a little bit, maybe do a stretch. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? So on the other side, same thing. I'll face you this way so you can see me here, all right? So we're gonna do those, well, this is not counterclockwise, all right? You can do whatever, whatever direction you would like to go, it does not matter. All right, so extend out nice and long, bringing that leg in. Yeah, make it nice circles. Brace neck, we're breathing here as we're moving. Deliver that oxygen to those muscles. Good, and do a few more circles. Change sides this way. <laughs> I'm gonna do two more on this side. And now on that last one, as your legs extend it out, remember, you're gonna sink back, that stretch in the calf muscle a little bit. Good. And whenever you're ready, we're gonna do the opposite direction, okay? So you're kicking out, back around, or you're going the other way, it does not matter. And your purpose here is just to get, again, warm up the hips, develop some range of motion, all right? Really come out, around, and down, focusing on that core control so you can stay upright. Very nice. And flowing here, fine a pacing rhythm that works for you. Good, and let's extend out whenever you're ready, all right? So extend back. Okay, stretch the neck, those calves out, this feels pretty good. Very nice. Good, nice job. Let's sink back onto those heels. Maybe this is a good stretch for the knees, the quads a little bit. Stretch out those wrists. All right, roll up those wrists a little more. We're gonna do one last thing with the um, the hips, okay? So we're gonna go back to that original side. All right, so I'm gonna flip over here so you can see me. All right, we're just gonna do some hip openers to the side, okay? So from the front here, I'll show you. Again, you're gonna pick one leg, keep it thin, and you're just basically gonna open and close, okay? So you're opening up, and then closing almost like a clamshell. Now, if you want to be on the ground here, you can. You can do the same thing. Stack those legs. You're just going to open and close. So if you don't want to be on your wrists, totally fine. You can be down here. Okay? So you're just kind of opening and closing like a clam by opening that shell. All right? So stick with one side here. So again, from the front here, you're just kind of opening, closing, keeping that leg bent. You don't have to go too far. Remember, everyone's a little bit different, okay? Good. Let's do two more on this side. Just feel that glute firing a little bit. Good, and then we're gonna switch to the other side, okay? So you can flip over again. You can be on the ground, all right? Lay on your side. Very nice. Open it up and closing. Remember, try to keep your hips square towards the floor. Okay, try not to favor one side. Again, one side of your body might be a little bit more flexible, so just keep in mind, we're doing two more. Good, and relax. Come back to that first side, all right? We're still gonna be stacked here, okay? You're gonna just extend that one leg out, okay? So we're gonna sink back towards our heels. All right, we're gonna, and then we're gonna kinda move forward and backwards. So you're gonna come forward, and back. I'm gonna extend that leg out. We're gonna stretch those um, those glutes. We're also gonna stretch those inner thighs. 
okay? So legs out, you're just gonna kind of rock back and then rock through. So breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Get a nice stretch. Kind of getting that blood pumping a little bit as we're moving, making it a little more dynamic. Good. Feeling that stretch in the inner thighs as you sit back. Again, that forward movement is just going to kind of create some more range of motion in those hips. Good. Let's do two more. Again, keep going if you need to. And then we're going to switch sides. All right. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side here. Leg goes extended out, and you're sitting back, and you're coming through. Now again, remember, each side might be a little bit different, okay? So if you can't go all the way down, if you can't go all the way through, totally fine. You can even just stay here and stretch this inner thigh if you want to, all right? Good. I'm up on my fingertips, kind of gives me a little more leverage, so yeah, whatever you're comfortable with. Good, flow with your breath. Very nice. Let's do two more here. Good. And we're gonna move into some of our core. So we're gonna start with the bird dog, okay? So you're still gonna be on your hands and knees. I promise this is the last thing on your hands and knees for right now, okay? So, bird dog. All you're doing is you're going to extend your opposite arm with your opposite leg. You're going to hold for a second or two. Push those fingertips and those toes as far apart from your body as you can. And then reset. Other side. If you're not comfortable doing both arm and leg, feel free to reach the arm out. Reach the leg out. Make it a little bit more individual. All right, one side at a time. All right, so all we're going to do, nice and controlled, you're going to focus on low back strength. Core is nice and tight, braced, flat back, shoulders right over those hands, okay? So we're gonna go here for about like 45 seconds to a minute, all right? We'll kind of keep going through, and then we're gonna do a plank afterwards, all right? You ready? Here we go, let's get going to those bird dogs. Stretching out, back down. If you have a light dumbbell, like five pounds or less, you can hold that dumbbell in your hand. But again, I want you focused. Here, we're not going for like as many reps as possible. We're keeping that core under tension here. Squeeze your butt when you extend that leg out. Good, so you should feel that core braced. Good, if you want a little bit of a challenge, the leg that's on the ground as you're extending, lift those toes up in the air, all right? So as I'm extending, I lift that foot off the ground, kind of adds a little bit Less of a stable surface. Good. Give me 10 more seconds. Nice job. Extending out. Good. Last one. Awesome. You're going to come to a plank. All right. Forearm plank. You're going to extend out. You can be in the high plank, but I'm giving you the forearm option so you can um, give your, your uh, wrist a break. You ready? So we're going to hold here. All right. Nice little plank position again, work on some low back strength. This is a great all around body, full body exercise. Sure, it's a cool, more so a core move, but again, squeeze your butt, squeeze your hamstrings, keep those legs tight. All right, obviously our core is braced here, shoulders right over those elbows. Our back is straight. Think about if you have a plate of food or a cup of water on your back, you don't want your, arc, your back to fall, so you're or going like this, okay? So holding strong here, breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Good job. Hold here, you're kind of right on the balls of those feet, right? Not back too far, right? You're kind of up in a nice, good, tall position. We're gonna add some hip dips, okay? So if you want to, you're going to drop those hips to either side. Okay, so work those lower obliques a little bit. If you have a mat, think about dipping those hips to the outer part of your mat. Good, nice work. Nice. Ten more seconds here. Breathe in. 
Good. Three, two, one, and relax. Flat on your mat, okay? We're gonna do some Superman. Just like the bird dog, but we're on the ground, you're gonna raise your opposite arm with your opposite leg. I want, to keep, want you to keep that neck nice and neutral so you're staring straight down on your mat. Don't arch your neck, all right? So you ready? Here we go. So come up, just a little raise off the ground. Again, press that core into the floor. Feel that lower back working. Extend those fingertips. Nice and wide, stretching as far as you can. A little arch, opposite arm, opposite hand. Breathing. Very nice. All right, so these are some good exercises that oftentimes we don't really do as much, but it's great for some low back strength and just some mobility in that shoulders, kind of raising those arms above your head. It's gonna work some of those smaller shoulder muscles. Nice job. You got 10 more seconds here. Good. Three, two, one, very nice. We're gonna flip on over to our backs, okay? So on the back, we're gonna do some um, more some mobility, okay? So flipping over. All right, we're gonna stretch those glutes. So I want your back flat on the ground, okay? What I wanna do, extend one leg out, the other leg, you're gonna bring that knee in towards your chest, okay? And feel that stretch in those glutes hold it. I want you to roll your ankle clockwise and counterclockwise. Create some range of motion there. Sometimes, sometimes my ankle cracks and pops a little bit. All good. All right. So bring that knee to your chest. Although all I want you to do is kind of drop that knee slowly. Keep your leg bent at 90 degrees across that other side. You can extend those arms out if you want to extend those arms out. Yes, this is a good thoracic spine stretch here so you're working your back. Again, you got that range of motion in those hips. Okay. Good, so breathe in here. Nice and deep. Good, come back to center, use that core. Bring that knee to your chest a second time. Good, then all I want you to do, I want you to bring that other leg in. You're gonna cross opposite ankle over top or right above that opposite knee and then I want you to grab the hamstrings of that other leg and just bring that bring those legs in towards your chest okay you're gonna, again figure four you're gonna feel a nice stretch in those glutes all right you can place your head flat on the ground again some people are more flexible than others but give it a try you can just rest here all right you can even just press a little bit of that pressure in that inner thigh if you don't feel like you can bring that leg all the way in. Okay. Two more deep breaths here. Good. Again, you can close your eyes if you want to. Good. And whenever you're ready, you're going to slowly release that leg. Extend out. All right. You're going to bring that other opposite leg in towards your chest. Again, find a nice, good stretch here. Roll the ankle a few times. Let your head and neck relax on, on the mat. Good. And then when you're ready, we're just gonna keep that leg, remember, bent at 90 degrees, and we're just gonna drop it over to that opposite side. Again, extend those legs out. Oh, hold tight in this one. And you're gonna feel that nice rotation in that back. Feeling those hips work. Again, this should be like, you'll feel the stretch, but you don't want it to be uncomfortable, okay? So anytime you feel uncomfortable, just come back to this position, all right? If you're not feeling that mobility and you're not, it's not working for you, that's totally fine. It should be just comfortable. Okay, let's bring it back to the center, okay? Grab that knee, or that leg one last time here. And then we're gonna do the same thing with that figure four stretch. You're gonna bring the opposite leg in, you're gonna cross that ankle right over the top of that knee. And then again, your option to pull 
that opposite leg in, right? Get a deeper stretch in those hips. Grab the hamstring here, all right? Rest and flat back, or you can stay here and supply a little pressure on that inner thigh. Okay. Good, so take two deep breaths here. This side is definitely a little bit more tight than the other one, that's for sure. Once you finish your second breath, slowly release the legs, all right? I want you to extend those legs out, arms extend overhead, maybe interlace those fingers, and just stretch, nice full body stretch here. And then I want you to just keep your one leg straightened, okay? We're gonna do a little hamstring stretch. So you can reach up for your calf, you can be right here. I just want you to pull that leg in a little bit. We're gonna stretch the hamstrings. Now my legs are very bent, a little bent. So again, you're gonna kind of find where you're at, and then you're gonna switch. All right, so you can keep that head and those shoulder blades off the ground. That'll gain to the core a little more. So feel that stretch, and then you're gonna switch. All right, so I want you to go into your own pace here. Stretch those hamstrings. Again, grab where you're able to. It should be just feel a light stretch. Nothing, we're not straining again. We're not straining too much. Good, down. Feel that hamstring stretch. Again, you can be here. Even just having your leg in the air, if you flex those toes, all right, and point those toes towards yourself, you're definitely gonna get that hamstring stretch. Let's do one more on each side from here, and then we're gonna sit up and do a little forward fold here on the ground for those hamstrings. Good, oh, my video just uh, stopped. Love that. All right, when you're ready, slowly come up. All right, we're gonna stand nice and tall, kind of readjust where, your, where that butt is. We're gonna raise those arms up overhead, and then I want you just to fold straight down. All right, so I'm very much not flexible in this position, all right? But again, you're gonna feel that stretch. Again, curl those toes back towards your body. You're gonna really feel that stretch. Reach for your shins, your toes, your knees, wherever you're feeling. And then I want you to kind of go through this. You're gonna reset, back straight, arms up, and drop, all right? Let me see if I can get this video back up here. We're having trouble playing this video, are you now? I thought I left all my Wi-Fi problems back in Florida, but I guess not. Oh, here we are, we're up, we're up. All right, so just do like one more stretch. All right, so one more forward fold here. Okay, Make this one a minute. Okay. Good, so yeah, nice and tall. When you're ready, you're gonna slowly drop onto the ground. We're gonna do our core now, okay? So we're gonna continue kind of with this, uh, be on our uh, back seat a little bit. We're gonna start with some leg raises, all right? We've done this before. I want your low back pressed into the ground. Hands can be underneath your butt if you need to for more support. We're simply just lowering as far as you can and then pulling those legs up with your core. So you ready? Here we go. So bring it up. Again, if you only can lower to here, totally fine. Bring it back up. If you need to do one leg at a time, one leg at a time. I just want you to be mindful of that low back. Press the core into it. It should be hitting the ground or touching the ground all times here throughout this movement. At any point it pops back off, raise those legs. Good, nice job. Nice and controlled. Work those hip flexors a little bit too. As we're raising those legs. Breathe. Very nice. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, you're gonna meet me in some slow bicycle crunches. Okay, so you're coming opposite elbow to the opposite knee. You're gonna keep your shoulder blades off the ground and we're twisting, all right? So we're working, again, those obliques, those outer core muscles. Shoulder blades are off the ground. My low back is still glued to the floor. You're going nice and controlled. You're not rushing through this exercise. 
keep that head up. Again, we're not pulling on our neck. Our hands are just here to guide us here through this movement. Breathe, nice work. Good, 15 more seconds. exercise here okay we're gonna do little scissor kicks so you're gonna come over and under with your legs okay again keep them as high or as low as you need to okay take breaks if you want all right here we go so again we're just focusing on keeping that low back glued to the floor all right so as soon as you feel that back start to arch all right, make sure you kind of readjust, breathe. You should feel that low core, this lower abs working. Nice and controlled, crisscrossing those legs. Good, holding here. Again, you can just hold here if you want to hold here. Totally fine, okay? Give me about 10 more seconds. Nice. Three. Two, one, very nice. Let's bring those knees into our chest. And massage that low back a little bit by rocking back and forth. Good, and then when you're ready, we're gonna flip on over, okay? Our last little series here, we're gonna end with a little yoga flow, okay, to start with. So, little yoga flow. We've done this before. We're gonna start in a little high plank position, okay? High plank position, however you wanna get there. You're gonna slowly lower down to the ground. All right, untuck your toes. You're gonna to push up. Then you're gonna tuck those toes, go down into a little downward dog. Okay, and then you're gonna flow back to the high plank. Down. Arching up here. And then back to the downward dog, okay? So you're gonna go at your own pace. I want you to breathe in here. Feel that stretch. Kind of create some more movement, some more body heat here as we're going through this. If you want to stay in this downward dog position, you can pedal out those feet a little bit. Stretch the calves and the hamstrings a little bit more. Good. Lowering down as slow and controlled as you can. Then you can stay in this little, um, what do they call this, upward dog, cobra position. All right, the toes. Nice, resetting. Slowly lowering down, engaging that core. I'm gonna do one or two more. So whatever you need, I want you to take your time here. One or two more times through. Nice. I'm doing my last one. Whenever you feel done, I'm going to meet you in this downward dog here for a second, okay? Downward dog. When you're ready, you're going to extend one leg out. Oh, I'm going to hit the elliptical here. Extend one leg out, and then you're going to bring your knee towards your opposite elbow. Hold. Engage the core. Back out, extending up, right down to the center, in between those hands. Back out one last time here. And same side, knee to elbow. Good, and then high plank, drop those knees, and we're gonna go back to a little child's pose here. Roll out those wrists. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, just stretch out the back a little bit. Inch those fingertips forward, you're gonna stretch that lat muscle if you need to. Okay, you ready? Finding your uh, your down dog again, how are we gonna get there? All right, so extending that leg up, bring it to your opposite elbow, holding, covering that leg over the ground. Breathe, 
good out. Nice and extended tall here. Bringing that knee in towards the middle of those hands. Hold. And back out one last time. Bring that knee to the same side. Good. Find yourself back into downward dog. Very nice. What I want you to do, I want you to walk your hands or your feet to a nice little forward fold position, however you want to get there, okay? So, I'm going to center my mat here so you can see me. So forward fold, let those arms hang. Maybe shift side to side. All right, kind of stretch out the back a little bit. You can always grab your elbows with your opposite hands if you want to. Good. Then you come back to center. I want you to slowly stand, make your way to standing here. One vertebrae back in time. Roll those shoulder blades back. Keep those shoulders a nice, good roll. And then what you do is just raise those arms up. All right, maybe interlace those hands and extend for the ceiling. Maybe add a little dip to either side. Good, and let's release. Exhale as we go down to the ground here, forward fold. Good, then slowly coming on up to standing. Do the opposite shoulder rolls. So I did backward shoulder rolls. I'm gonna do forward shoulder rolls this time. Okay. And let's do a little twist while we're here. A little trunk twist. Okay, again, keeping those hips kind of facing forward. We're just rotating that torso a little bit. Good, and when you're ready, inhale nice and deep as we come, bring those arms up. And then exhale as we drop down. When you're down here, walk those feet out to a nice, good, wide straddle position. Hands are right in the center, okay? You can reach. Let's reach for one side. Got a nice stretch down that back of that leg. Good. And we're the same thing on the other side. Back to the center. And this time, we're going to walk your hands to one foot here. You're going to kind of shift those feet so both facing to the forward side. We're going to straddle, frame our feet here. We've got a nice little runner stretch, runner's lunge. All right, so nice and strong. If you need like a block or anything for those hands, go for it. All right, so we're going to stretch the hip flexors. We've got the hips. All right, framing that foot. Breathing here. Good. Drop that back knee when you're ready. And we're just going to lift up, sinking those that weight forward, those hips forward. You get the deeper stretch in that hip flexor. Good. Deep breath in. And then as you exhale, bring those hands back, bring your foot, pick up that knee. And we're going to shift back to the center. And we're going to go to the other side. Okay? So again. If you need to rest your knee in this whole position, go for it. Drop that knee. If not, keep that leg up. All right, you're still straddling that leg or framing that foot. So a nice, strong position here. Good. Breathing. You're going to drop that knee. Lift up nice and tall. You can make your gaze towards the ceiling, towards those fingertips. Plant that foot into the ground. Sink that weight forward, deep breath in, exhale, frame that foot, pick up that knee, bring back to the center here for that straddle, we're going to hold here. Good, and then I want you to inch your feet forward, last thing we're going to do is end for a little side plank here, alright? So, we're going to be in this forward fold, alright? All I want you to do is kind of just drop your butt towards your heels, all right? Seeing that's a nice little yogi stretch. And then you're going to slowly bring your way down here to the mat. We're going to lay on our sides. Last thing today before we close, okay? So you can bend that bottom leg, be up in your side plank. You can do your full side plank, okay? I like to be on my forearms. You also can be on your hand. 
Um, but if you have wrist issues, go on your forearms to the side plank. Okay, you ready? Last thing today, we're gonna finish with our, um, our side planks. Ready? Here we go. Your option is to add a little rotation. Reaching your arm up and rotating, threading your arm through your body. You don't have to do this. You can stay still if you want to. Okay, nice and controlled. Keep those hips up in the air. It's good mobility stuff too, right? Kind of working on that rotation of the spine. Very nice. Good. Keep breathing. Keep those hips tall as you feel. Kind of right along in here, that core. You got five seconds. And we're going to switch sides. Good. Let's switch. All right, so drop. Flip on over. All right. You ready? Last little bit here, and then we are done. Here we go. You're up. Extend your arm out, adding those rotations. You can stack your feet. You can also do a little tandem, okay? Kind of put one foot in front of the other to help create a little bit more stable base for you. Good, nice and controlled here. Remember, focusing on keeping that core under tension. You don't want to fall over, work on the balance. Send an arm up and rotating in. Very nice. Good job. Almost there. Ten more seconds. Good. Last three, two, one, and release. Nice. Drop those legs, those hips. All right, guys, nice job today. Thank you for coming out. I hope that was a good reset to the day. Just take a nice deep breath here as we finish. So inhale through your nose. And nice loud exhale, let it all out. It's Monday. We are hopefully off to a good week after that, um, that little stretching session. Again, thanks for coming out. Um, if you want to do another cardio, something to kind of get moving, now you feel loosened up, ready to go, go feel free to check out any of my other workouts that we've done. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for coming. Um, back here, you know, PA, so here we are. It's not the pool anymore, the Florida pool, but uh, it's good. Um, <laughs> what is it? Good one. Oh, yes, thank you. I know, I felt really good, too. I need that for Monday. I might make that like a thing, like Monday morning mobility, just... It's good. It's a good release. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. All right, we got a little strength workout, I believe, upper body. Um, until then, have a great rest of your Monday. Let's start this week off right. Keep moving today. Enjoy it. And uh, I'll be back with you bright and early tomorrow morning. All right, take care, guys. Happy Monday.